In this video, we will be talking about SMART goals, which are goals that are specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time-based. Including SMART goals for each major part of your action plan will ensure that you're thinking strategically and realistically about how to implement your OER action plan at your institution. I think it's helpful to start out thinking about some long-term goals that you may have in mind when you're developing your SMART goals. In this example, I want to be healthier. That's great, but I don't have a clear plan on how to do that. Additionally, there can be many factors that go into being healthier, like more exercise, better nutrition, better sleep, and more. One thing you may want to do is to break your goals into achievable sub-goals that fit into your long-term plan. In comes SMART goals. These goals are focused, clear, and have measurable levels of success to help you achieve your long-term goals. SMART goals incorporate these five areas, specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. For specific, you want to look at what you want to accomplish. This should be clear and it could be helpful to think about the who, the what, the when, the where, the which, and the why. In my example of being healthier, I may want to include an exercise SMART goal. So I can think about what type of exercise I want to do, when I'll do it, where I'll do it, is anyone else involved, and so on. It's really important to be clear in this step. The next step you want to look at is how to measure your success. So this looks at ways to quantify your progress or metrics that you can use to determine if you've reached your goal. One question you can ask yourself is how do I know if I've reached my goal? Next for achievable, you want to ask yourself, can I do it? And this is important when considering your commitments and schedule as well as other barriers at your institution. So what can you do to achieve this goal? Or what is in your control? The next one is relevant. You want to ask yourself, does this fit into your larger goals? Is it the right time for this goal? Or what is the why of your goal? Does it contribute to further your action plan, for example, or maybe it helps align the library's strategic plan. And finally, time bound. You wanna ask yourself, when is it reasonable to see results? Having a deadline or maybe if appropriate, checkpoints throughout the goal can be helpful. By including deadlines or due dates, you can set yourself up to be more successful. So if we go back to my example of being healthier, perhaps my SMART goal might be something like this example. On Tuesday and Thursday during spring semester, I will play basketball at the campus gym from 6.30 to 7.30 with Tom. This goal, I can easily look back at the end of the semester and determine whether or not I achieved that goal. It's specific, it's clear, it's time bound, and I can have measurable results. If we wanted to apply that to OER, program, this might be an example of a goal. So really, I want to advertise the library's OER program, and that's my larger goal. If I break it down into specific steps, this might be one SMART goal. During the first two weeks of the fall semester, I will spend one hour each Friday developing an OER program advertisement and submit it to the library's communication specialist by September 1st for publication. Now this is very specific, and in some ways, that can be helpful and help you achieve your goal. When breaking down your SMART goals, these are some factors that you can look at, and you can increase your likelihood of success if you consider these factors. Answering these questions can help you explore the factors that you have working for and against you in pursuit of your defined goal. I think it's really important to note 
potential collaborators and resources, potential barriers, questions and issues that you may need to resolve. And if you have questions about your SMART goals, please take advantage of sharing them with your cohort or your cohort leader. That's what we're there for. There is a SMART goals template available to you to help you get started in developing your SMART goals. And again, if you have questions about them, please don't hesitate to contact your cohort leader or your cohort. Thank you.